valuation of the bond value of the bond is nothing but the uh, present value of the uh, bond that is present value of the all the future interest that is expected from the bond is sum up to value of the bond so to calculate value of a bond we again go for our present value and future value formula that is nothing but future value is equals to present value into 1 plus r whole power n so this determines present value is equals to future value divided by 1 plus r whole power n so uh, always uh, uh, whenever the question is asked on finding the value of a bond we need to find present value of all the future inflows from that bond and remember unless it is specifically mentioned uh, in bond valuation all the, we assume that the all the future cash inflows accrue by way of uh, ordinary annuity that is all the cash inflows will be arrived at the end of the period right so uh, we'll take an example for calculating value of a bond see the question will be asked in what is the value of a bond with face value of 1000 coupon rate is 12 percent and maturity period is three years with required rate of return of 10 percent now the coupon rate here is 12 percent that is the uh, bond interest is paid at rate of 12 percent of the face value so uh, uh, that is uh, maturity of the bond is three years that is bond period uh, holding period of the bond is three years so for the first year what we get a return from the bond is 12 percent of thousand that is 120 second year also 12 percent of thousand 120 third year 12 percent of thousand 120 and since the bond maturity period is only three years at the end of three years we get the face value also that is 120 plus thousand 1120 now these are all the future inflows from the bond whose maturity period is 3 years. Now for finding value of the bond we need to find present value of all these future inflows. So present value is future value divided by 1 plus r whole power n. And remember always present value is calculated at the beginning of the first year. So uh, present value of this cash inflow 120 first cash inflow is nothing but 120 divided by 1 plus R. What is our market rate or required rate of return? That is 10 percent. 1 plus 10 by 100 whole to the power of. See, we are calculating present value at the beginning of the first year. So, this is received at the end of first year, assuming ordinary annuity. So, uh, the whole power at the beginning of the, the 120 will be held for a period of beginning of the first year to end of the first year. That is entire an year so 120 divided by 1 plus 10 by 100 whole power 1 similarly second installment will be received at the end of second year and we are calculating present value at the beginning of the first year so beginning of the first year to end of first year and end of first year to end of second year total two years 120 will be held for a period of two years so 120 divided by 1 plus 10 by 100 whole square similarly last 1120 divided by 1 plus 10 by 100 whole cube and calculating this we will arrive at 1049.73 or say 1050 is the value of the bond that is if we want to purchase this bond from the market what is the value we need to pay 1050 based on this example there are some theorems those are called bond value theorems that also we'll discuss now next coming to two other terminologies in bond valuation uh, that is current yield of the bond and YTM yield to maturity now what is current yield current yield of bond is nothing but coupon interest divided by current market value of the bond so market value of the bond will be given coupon percentage will be given we need to calculate coupon amount see now uh, we'll consider this example uh, face value of the bond is 1000 coupon rate is 8 percent and market value is 800 so current yield is nothing but what is coupon 8 percent of 1000 that is 80 divided by current market price is 800 that is 0.1 and always remember current yield must be mentioned in terms of percentage so that comes to 10 percent second ytm very important topic in bond valuation yield to maturity ytm is the that rate of return earned by an investor who holds the bond till maturity that is in our earlier example the bond value bond maturity period is three years so if i'm purchasing this bond and if i'm holding till maturity that is till the lapse of three years what is the return i get from that bond is ytm so ytm is the rate of return or rate of 
percentage in terms of percentage uh, which a bond holder gets if he holds the bond till maturity so how could we calculate this r uh, same uh, face value is given as 1000 market value is given as 850 that is present market value is 850 coupon rate is 8 percent maturity period is 9 years so what is missing in this ytm that is nothing but market rate or rate of return expected return so this is the market value or present value this is nothing but present value of all future inflows from the bond so if the bond maturity period is 9 years with a coupon rate of 8% so first year we will get 8% of 1000 that is 80 second year also 80 so on and ninth year we will get 1000 plus 80 1080 so present value of all these inflows 80 divided by 1 plus r by 100 whole per 1 2 so on up to 9 is equals to present market value or valuation of the bond which is 850 we need to find this r solving this equation we will get r which is nothing but ytm in exam we will have four options you can go for substitution method and in examination the uh, sum will be also very small that is in the maturity period will be for three years or four years or always you are having an option we can go by option clear then we will go for bond valuation and after uh, sorry bond theorems after discussing bond theorems we will come back these two problems these two examples to understand the bond theorems clearly more clearly thank you